left off with Tessa Ben Aleph. The mission discusses on Yutes the various materials that can be used as for writing in terms of like the equivalent of what's ink and also the the material used on which you inscribe the get, the text of the get. Okay? So we're just holding now about the mission says DO, what is DO, what is each one. If you want to use red ink to write the get, you go write the ink, as long as it le it's indelible. If it's indelible, it could be, it qualifies as the writing material. If it's not indelible, it does not. Then it continues, and this is, it's, my she asked this question yesterday, if you go and you delineate what is, you should just say, anything which leaves an indelible impression, which cannot, cannot be erased, that qualifies. So Rashi says, Material of Mega Shomim. Material of Maim Shishon Bopri Shu Kein Afotim. Which means either it means Mega Shomim, like it's sometimes rainwater, it has a certain degree of uncleanliness in it. When you write, it'll leave an indelible impression. Or the others interpret it as you, you soak some kind of fruit in it, and the extract of fruit causes that, although it's it's not that intense, but nevertheless it leaves an indelible impression. Afotzim are a nuts. Similar to Meitiri of Afzo. Afzo. Afzo are gall nuts. Tori. Google it, you'll see what a gall nut is. Yeah. They use it, you know, they use it, the parchment. The parchment usually has a certain um, sheen on it. They, that, they use that, they, 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 they wax it. It's not wax, but they, they go and they treat the parchment with that. Sometimes it has like a certain dark color. Tareb chil kosher be'ever. Beshochor, beshichor, kosher. Person used lead. Lead, like a lead. Beshochor u beshichor. Shichor is his pechomen. He took a, a coal, charcoal. So Rosh says, what does it mean, lead? He soaked lead in water, and you have, and he used that as as what as the writing material. So lead, Itmar. Lead without water would not be a writing material. Maybe it doesn't leave indelible. Maybe you, you, it's easier to erase. Once it's liquid, it like soaks into the parchment. Right, so Otherwise, it's just on the surface. Uh -huh. Right. Itmar. Now this is inter interesting. Now, the Gemara says in uh, the mission says in Kolgodol that if one writes on shops, you're in violation of writing. If one goes and is mochik, you erase on Shabbos, mm. you, you're in violation of erasing. But you need mochik al menas lichtov. Right? I mean, normally we say that mechalkel, if you do a destructive act, you're not in violation of Shabbos because everything is derived from the Mishkan and all the activities in the Mishkan were all constructive rather than destructive. Therefore, mechalkel is, is potter. On a Torah level, Rabbinically, you're not permitted to be mechalkel to do a destructive act on Shabbos, but rabbinically, you're not permitted. So let's talk about mochik. You have a letter, two letters, and you erase both letters. Or you, lay, you erase a large letter. Let's say you have a very large letter, and in the place of that large letter you, you erase, you could write two small letters. You could. you could write two small letters in that location. You're in violation of, 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 of erasing. Why? Because that's called mochik ham naslichtov. You've erased something to prepare the location to be a location for writing. What's writing? Two letters. Even if you have no intent to write. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't matter. Doesn't make a difference. I'm washing my wall from, from uh, I have a chalkboard and it's right on it, but I want to clean for, I want to clean because it doesn't look good. I want to erase the whole Right, location. right. Doesn't make a difference. I'm right, you're in violation. It's mochik am naslichto. You prepared a location for, for writing. Okay? The Rishon would speak about a case in Shabbos. You have a blotch of ink on a paper. Blotch. And you go and you just erase the blotch. You didn't even erase a letter. You don't have to be mochik a letter. It's just a blotch of ink. You're in violation of mochik. Because that's mochik. I'm not, you're preparing a location to be a, a location for writing. And as long as it's large enough that you can write two, even two small letters, you're in violation. Okay? So let's talk about it. 
But writing is definitely writing. If you write two letters, you're in violation. What about if we discuss a case, you write something in red, and then you trace the letters in black ink? Okay? So the black, uh, firstly, is a, the black ink is obliterating the red. It's the equivalent, the red doesn't exist. And simultaneously, as you're racing, you're putting red, a black letter, which is a better quality letter. It's a better quality. So the Marzans say, if you do this on Shabbos, Chayv Shtayim, you're a violation of two chatos. You violate two, 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 two melochos. Kosev and mochik. So you have a double liability over here. Black on black. This will speak, will speak black on black or black on red. It's what we're going to discuss. Itmar, Hamavid Dio Al Gabi Sikor Bishabis. One who traces with black ink over red ink on Shabbos. Rav Yochan Rishlokish, Tamri Tavayo. Rav Yochan Rishlokish, they both concur on this. Chayv Shtayim. You're liable for two chatos. Achas Mishum Kosev. Writing, the black letter is writing. You've written two. Vachs Mishum Mochik. Because the red letter is obliterated. And what, you, what did you put in the place of the red letter? The black letter, which is a better quality letter. And the, black, the red letter is no longer noticeable. That's, it's obliterated as a result of tracing it with the black letter, with the black ink. So it's chatsi shir. Ya chayiv, ya chayiv. Chayiv, you have to do... Erase the same thing. I said, erasing is two letters. Well, you could have placed in that location two yeah, letters. letters. So you did write two letters no, here. I'm saying, Nothing. The location. It's preparing the location for writing. Okay? Mm. Correct. Correct. Yeah, but we're talking here. This is the Raisa. This if you wrote one large letter over. So you erased two, you erased enough to write, to write two letters. But you only wrote one letter, so you're not high on, on writing. Correct, 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 correct. No, you won't be high on erasing either. No, no, because you replaced it with something that it's, you don't prepare it for writing two letters. You, that you, you understand? Let's say you have two letters and I pour ink on the two letters and totally obliterate two letters by putting a blotch ink on top of it. You're in violation of what? It's not mochi No, it's not that. You, It's makalkel. That's makalkel, 100%. Right. Rabbinically, it's a rabbinical violation. Right. So, this, this, is, this is difficult to understand. Why, why on, on both sides. First, I thought that writing was bringing to existence something that didn't exist before, having to do with writing. Two letters. There was nothing, now there's something. Now I have the red ink. That is something. Correct. Okay, and it's permanent. It's not fading. I mean, it's, it's permanent. Right, correct. It's not like the, you know, the juice. So if I write over that, what have I actually done? I understand it might be a rabbinic. No, no, no. Well, 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 let's good. To say okay. For that Look, did you to put it? Did you write two new letters? The answer is I didn't create two new letters. Yes, you they did. Were there before. No, no. Yes. You create a black letter is considered a new letter, even though you traced over the 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 the, 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 the bottom letter. And that's the difficult. Point. You you the b b bottom letter doesn't exist. That you obliterated. You obliterated that letter. That there's no representation of that. Those two, two, those two characters. Let's leave the obliteration for a minute. No, once they're obliterated, so what? 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 What exists now? The two letters have been re replaced. The two letters that were obliterated. The two black letters are considered a replacement of the two original letters. There's an actual fact. An actual fact. When um, they look at art and forgeries and you know, so forth, they put the technique right now that they can peel off the outer layer to reveal the inner layer. Okay. So there may be technology that you take black ink and put over the red ink. That with the technology today, they could peel away that. Doesn't make a difference. What would be left is the red. Doesn't make a difference. Still, the but presently, the red letter has been is, has been obliterated. Right. It's been covered over. But if on the n with natural means you cannot remove it, it's considered non-existent. It's considered non-existent. So the next line is black, not black. 
I'll give you an example. I would have thought that obliteration means potter. That's what I would have thought, potter, but as opposed to a derisive, because it's very close. So I would say that it was also not. This discussion, which which is even, which is question of Shabbos, uh, they discuss in Hilchos Kriyas Torah. You know, in the old days, they didn't have electric lights, so they'd have wax candles, and you reading. All of a sudden, you come. There's wax dripped on the on the parchment. And one of the letters obliterated. I mean, uh, you cannot read it. Wait, 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 that's the question. Are you permitted to uncover it on Shabbos? Or is it safe to a puzzle? Right? No, 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 uncovering it. Uncovering it. Are you permitted to uncover it? Take the wax out. What's the melacha? That's the... No, the melacha would be, would be uh, tikkun mana. Tikkun mana. So that's the question is, if it's just a covering... Is, 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 is perfecting so bring something to perfect the course Makabapatish okay Makabapatish so if you say it's just covered you can't read it it's kosher safe it's a covering but you say that letter is, is in, in an obliterated state and, until you take off that wax then it's Makabapatish right that, that's, that's the discussion over there so the way it said you should not you should not take it off I mean it's, it's, can you read it from that no, you're not permitted to read by heart, right? To be Yotzkir's Torah. You sort of make it out a little bit. No, if you can make it out, it's not a problem. Let's say it's, tra- it's, it's, it's opaque and you could, it's, you could see it then. But it's actually, it's either beeswax, you can't see, you can't see through it. Okay? So? You're saying these are devices? These are chayv you're liable for two chatos. Two chat, two, you have a double liability here. Ach, spishim kos, ashim, we'll see later, it'll be a little more complicated. It's a bishogig. Well, you can't die twice. Yeah, Rabbi Yochan and Rish they concur in this one. Yeah. Okay, listen to this. Dio agabe dio. Let's say you have a, a, a letter which is black, and you write another letter. Even if the first black letter, let's say, it's already slightly dull, and you want to freshen it, yeah. and you write another one, right? You putter. I don't understand that. Wait, 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 wait. That's easy. But, but you are creating no, no. That's one. adding to the letter. No, that's adding. That's right. adding. So, so adding is not considered right. No, no, that's that's not. No, no. You have to create a new letter. This is an enhancement of the letter. Red is is considered. The red letter is obliterated because it no longer it, it could no longer be visually. Tracing the exact letter doesn't make a difference. No, that's called the adding to the letter. One second. Sikra gabi sikra. What about red on red? Same thing. Yeah. Potter. Of course, that's an enhancement. It's not c- obliterating one, creating... Okay. S- it's, different, th- it's not a different representation. What about Sikra Gabi Dio? Interesting. A diff- now, red on black. No, same, same thing, but it's an inferior letter. Right? Amri Lechayev. Some say Yechayev. We'll see. Writing, you definitely wrote. Amri l'chayev, we'll see. Amri l'poter. Amri l'chayev, mochik. It's mochik. What's the mochik? You obliterated the black letter. How do you obliterate it? I don't see the letter. No, no, the black it doesn't exist any longer. I thought we said that red is there. You can't obliterate. No, you could obliterate. Each one would obliterate the other. Well. Yeah. See, so traced it with red ink, and now you don't see the black, the black letter anymore, any longer. I mean, there's no question... Maybe the, the red will be, have, have a certain, it'll certain, be a different color. It'll be a different, but again, but for all intents, the black letter right. doesn't exist right. any longer. Right. Okay? Yeah. So some say chayyav, some say pot. What, what do you chayyav, what do you pot for? Amri lo chayyav mochiku. You chayyav for mochiku, obliterated the black letter. Amri lo potter, makalkulu. Now, it's not so simple. Let's see, Rashi. Right, one second. Mochiku. Below kosef, you're not in violation of writing. Shemitchilo your kosef hogan miato. It's also a chiddush. The red letter obliterates the black letter. Okay, so are you in violation of writing? You wrote on this location. Writing, Rashi is explaining. Nobody's saying. Nobody. Everybody agrees. You're not in violation of writing. Kosef not. The question is, are you in violation of, of mekalkim? Is it Mekalkul or Mochik? 
So he says, why is it orange? You're a violation of, I mean, if factually today, what letter exists? The red letter exists. So he wrote a le red a letter. letter. It's a new letter. Correct. So Rashi says, because the new letter that replaced the old letter is an inferior letter compared to the first, that's not called you've written. No, no, yeah. but we're saying you, even according to one who holds mochik, even the one who says mochik, kosev, everybody agrees in a violation of writing. Yeah, because by doing that, you're making it inferior. What does mochik mean? You've obliterated the first. The first doesn't exist, right. and even though it doesn't exist, if it doesn't exist, why does this letter exist now? Because he wrote a new letter. Despite that, you're not in violation of kosev. So, uh, uh, why is it? Wait, wait, wait. We're we'll, we'll discussing. But Rashi's saying. Because it's not as hogun, it's not as quality-wise quali 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 as the first one. Therefore, you're not chay for kosef, it's only mochik. No, no. If it's faded, where it's a different color. It's always faded. No, no. It's still within the, the realm. No, 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 no. no. It's not faded. Then. No, it's not. Then. I, that's why I use the word. That you're freshening it. It's not faded where it's 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 already like a, it's right. like red. Sometimes when it gets old, it turns like a brownish. It's not sort of pink. No, no, no. It's a different color. It's a da that's a different color. Because that's what happened. The fading process. No, we're not talking about it's faded. It's not you faded. Put it on spectrometer. Yeah, it's not it's faded. It color. still looks like a red letter. It's not. It doesn't look like it was once a red letter. It's still red, but it doesn't have the intensity of the red that it once had because it's not keep, fresh. So Hundred percent. Right, right. You, then you, no question, you're in violation of writing. Then it's a deriser. That would be a deriser. Correct, a correct, correct. We're just just saying a more obvious case. Black and red is right. It's obvious. That it's a, it's a different letter. Right. Now I want to get back to this. Since the original letter was a better quality letter, it was black, and now you wrote red, you're not in violation of writing. It's not mechalkel. You did write a letter, but it's not called, because we have to say, why, why even for for, 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 for mochik? Mochik is mochik of nas lichtov. Right? It's an obvious question. If you obliterate something, it's only because you're fearing it for writing. See if you tell me, Chai for Kosev. So good. So the Moche is Amnas Lichtov. Because the new, it was replaced with a Ksiva. But if you tell me, not in violation of Ksiva, so why in violation of Moche? Because you're preparing it. So you for what? There's a red letter there. Right? It's Moche Amnas Lichtov. But you tell me what you replaced it with is not called the Ksiva. Nevertheless, you're in violation of Mochik. I mean, Tosis deals with it a little bit. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. I I yes I You have a, t t two letters, and you take a blotch of ink and obliterate both letters with a blotch of ink. Are you in violation of 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 of, of Mochik? You're not in violation of Mochik. It's Makalkil. Everybody agrees on Makalkil. I. So why is it different than that? This is different. I'm asking you a question to respond on that one. It's the same thing, right? You're not. So over here, the writing is not called writing. Let it be like the blotch of ink on the letters that existed before. Mekalkelu, vavle kemochi kam nashelo lichtov. That's what's mekalkel. Ulamadim chayiv. Hear this? So what about the one who's chayiv for mochik? Why is it what? Lo have a mekalkel kach sherek sovel nikar. He's saying because the, since there is, it's like considered like a remnant of the original letter. Even though you obliterated the original letter, you obliterated it. But since there's a representation of the, little, the, the original letter through the red letter, because you traced it, therefore it's not makalkil. It's called mochik. No, mochik means that originally what you had, it's not, it's makalkil means more than just you diminished it. Right? Makalkil means it doesn't exist. Correct. Since over here the red letter is considered inferior, the only reason why you're able to write the red letter is because you traced the black letter. Right? So the red letter is like a remnant of the black letter. So, so, you understand? 
So it's considered mochek because factually there's a remnant of that. It's not the original, but it's like it's a remnant of it. That's why it's not makalka. It's not makalka because it's, there's a remnant of it. But factually you didn't write because writing means you have to put something better than what originally was there. One second. Let, let, let's discuss different scenarios. If you have a black letter, you actually erase the letter. Right? Erase it. And you replace it with a red letter. You're a violation of mochik and writing. Correct? Regular case. No, 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 not this case. You have a red, you have a black letter, you obliterate it, to erase it. You erase it. And you place, replace, put it in that place, a red letter. No question. You're a violation of mochik and kosef. Doesn't make a difference. Same, same letter. He erased two black letters and replaced it with two red letters. Mohe Kosev, not a question. Over here, rather than erasing it, he went and he traced the black letter with a red letter. So the red letter is what? No, no, it doesn't exist. We said before you mochik. If you put black on red, it's mochik. But here we're talking about red on black. Black on red is definitely mochik. Why is it worse than Mochik? Because relative to what the original one, it's, 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 it's considered like a different letter. So here also, you can't see, you can't see the original black letter when you, when you trace it with the red letter. What if you Wait a second, because I'm assuming, what do you mean, Rick Sovon Nikar? I think Sovon Nikar means when you take a red letter and you cover a black letter, it, it's recognizable. Nikar means it's recognizable. Because could be when you put the black letter over the, the red letter over the black letter, right. the red looks like a different red. Right. So if it looks like a different red. Right. So in terms of the black, right? In terms of writing a new letter, it's called, it's a diminishment. It's not writing. Because the original ksav has bearing on, on this inferior letter, on the red. Shrek sovon nikar. In stand. You don't understand. Let's say the the red letter would be so thick, it's, it's you wouldn't be able to detect that there was ever a letter beneath this. Then you'd be in violation of writing. Mochik or writing. Yeah, you've written and you were mochik. Right? right. Here we're saying you're in violation of mochik, not writing. Correct. So he says sherik sovul nikar. The ksav. What is, when it says the original, is it the original writing is recognizable? There's like a slight trace of that in the red? So if the, wait, what it says? If it is, it's not called writing because what's replaced it is not better than the original. So writing not. But factually, by obliterating the bottom one to, to the degree that you did, you pr allowed a replacement to take place. Something, you, know, you can't see it. It has a bearing on it. It has, it has, it is a really, it is, it is erased. It is erased. As a black letter, it doesn't exist as a black letter. But as being, affecting the red letter, it still affects it. So to consider it new, it's not called a new letter. It's not considered that you, to, 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 that you did a new act of writing. Because the original letter, there's, there's, there's a remnant of that left in the new letter. It's absorbed in the new letter. Uh -huh. so because it's a remnant left. Uh, if you take a look in Tosis, Tosis speak, the bottom Tosis. Mochiku, it's too minor. V'choshle mochik am nas lichtov. Why is it called racing um, with, with the intent to write? The mstam omi lazo v'lichtov olo video. Hear what he said? Tosa is a whole different concept because he's bothered with this question. When you erase it, when you obliterate it with red letter, factually the red letter versus the, the black letter is not considered a letter. It's like, it's like you, you prime a wall before you paint it. Covering with red is to prime it that you should write a, a, a what a black letter on, on top of the red letter. This is a preparatory act for what for ultimate writing. Because it's, but it seems that if a person would not do such a thing, you would not be liable not for mochik either. 
because he's only saying it's mochik am nas lichtov, because probably, because it's only laz lichtov a little video. So wait, wait, so what's the pin you, so what's, why is Mekalkil? The other one said, wait, wait, Mekalkil lo have, why? So let it be Mekalkil. Da lak siva zos take siva el yona rishum and nikr tveg. Mishim hoise tachton levado. Um, Mekalkel, lo have eggs, he says, why isn't it Mekalkel? Because factually, you obliterated the bottom letter. Right? Factually, he's, he's learning that it's what you've obliterated. But since it's in preparation to write a black letter on it, but factually, let it be Mekalkel. Now, Ksiva Zos takes Sivel Yona Rishum and Nikotveg. Because of this writing, the new letter you're going to write, it's going to be it's going to be a better quality letter, the black letter that you can write on top of it. Then, if you would have just left the bottom one. And I don't want other examples. Let's let's talk about it, what he's saying. I know. I'd, let's not get distracted with why, cases. Why, why is that better? I understand. He says, if you have a black letter and you write a black letter on a black letter, he says. It would not have there, the second letter is not enhanced to the degree that if you write a, a red letter on the black letter to be as preparation to write a black letter. So you have to obliterate the bottom to enhance the new, the new black. The new black letter you're going to write is going to be a better quality letter than if you write black on top of black. So therefore that's not called, a, so black on black is not called a new act of writing. No, he says it's omate. It's omate. That's the way it's done. That before you replace it with a black, rather than enhance it with a black letter, black on black, you first write red, because that would be a great enhancement for the future black letter that's going to be written. He's telling this fact. I mean, okay, if you accept that. He says because the the. Even though it's an enhancement, enhancement is not considered a new writing a new letter. But here, because you obliterated it, you've obliterated it, you've obliterated it, and that obliteration will be an enhancement for the future black letter to be written. Therefore, that's called mochich am naslichtov. It's preparing the location for the new letter to be written. So why would black on black be much of a Because he's already conceded the point that it is an improvement. It is. It's an enhancement. Final touch. So why would that not be a Okay, let's let's talk about Let's talk about Okay, there's a question which Namiri asked in in uh, in Haorik, how it's very important. You know, Makapatish means when you get a hit over the head with a hammer, so you better be careful. So the, the, he asks, what's the, there's a halacha of orig, weaving. Okay, this is the orig. person who needs, let's say, a yard of cloth, and he weaves as many roses as he needs to have the yard. So the Mirias, when you come to the last line of weave, you should be in violation of Makapatish. It should be orig and Makapatish. So he explains... Maka v'patish is always the act that follows the melacha. For instance, you build, and you put this, the mason puts the stone in place, or the brick in place, then he takes his trowel, and he takes the handle, and he taps it in place. The tapping is after the, you've done the act of building to secure it. But th- so it's always an act that follows the melacha. But if it's continuous, the melacha itself, that's not maka v'patish. Okay? That's, that, that, that's, that's what I'm explaining. So since it's, you're still writing, it's not the act that follows writing. Let's say you write a letter and the, and the edges are a little uh, flaky. And you take a, a blade and you would actually perfect the, the, the size of the letter. That would be Makabapatish. That should be perfect. That would be Makabapatish. That's, that's what he explains it. The Miri. It's not. 
It's not Makkah the Pelish. You didn't do it at the time of writing. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. That's called, that's called, it's still called writing. That's called writing. The same act, same act itself. Because the Gemara says that a person uh, uh, tailors a garment and the garment has threads and or remnants of cloth and you're not going to wear it unless they're, they're trimmed off. So that means that's called, the garment is not wearable. So when you trim off these remnants, that's Makkah Mepatish. Okay? Let's go further. Yeah, go ahead. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. What happens if I go and obliterate two letters? And I don't plan to write anything in that, in that, on that location. I, let's say I raise two letters and I plan to throw the paper away. Are you in violation of Mohek? You're in violation of Mohek? Because factually, your decision to dispose of it has nothing to do with you. you factually, you prepared a location where two letters could have been written in its location. Same idea. So since writing a red letter over a black letter in reality is preparing, it, 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 it's, it's a psychoratia. That's what it is. What your intent is is relevant what your intent is. See, that's the whole discussion with Ramosha. And that's the reason why it's not so simple. Ramosha holds that if you open a can, you're in violation of Makkah Patish. So the people who open cans, they say, but since today we dispose of it, we don't hold it, therefore it's not Makkah Patish. It never assumes the status of a Kli. Because, so it depends on your intent. If your intent is to dispose of it, but if your intent is to retain it, then it would be Makkah Patish. So the fact is, but what is the prevalent uh, perception? If prevalent, the prevalent way people deal with it is they're going to retain it, it's Makkah Patish regardless whether you dispose of it or not. And if it's the other way, so when is Makkah Patish? So your intent is actually probably is, is really to retain it. That, that, that causes a Makkah Patish. In America today, we don't keep certain no. cans in the cans. No, right. But in India, you know, these things are like it was in the old days. They're keeping the nails. And sure. So You're right. Then so that's Michael Potter. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, Ramosha says in regard to Tfila's Kaling, Tfila, that even if you're going to retain the can, right, you retain the can, you're not obligated to be told of it. Metal can. Why? Because the manufacturer only uh, manufactured the receptacle only as a conveyance to get you the food. Not that it has any value of, of a cleat. So when does it assume the status of a cleat? When you, you, you choose to retain it as, 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 as that vessel. So if it comes out, it's equivalent as the Jew made the vessel. The non-Jew did not make that vessel. That's where Moshe's Kula on many of these things, let's say bottles. Years ago, people used to keep a bottle. If it was emptied, and they would keep the bottle. A glass bottle. A glass bottle. Glass needs tefillah. But because it, the, the manufacturer only gave you the bottle only as a conveyance. It's like wrapping something in a paper bag. It doesn't mean anything. When did it, does it assume the status of a clea when you choose to retain it, not to dispose of it? So the soda bottle, are you retaining it and open it up? No, no that's, that's a cap. That's make, that's Makkah the Potash. That's a cap. So that is Makkah No, no, he's no, not. Talking not about a soda bottle. You're not making, how are you making, how are you making the bottle? The bottle has just the cover on it. I say you, you you're not making... Making, you know, it's not because you're making the bottle. And making a clay. The clay is the, is the cap, not the bottle. So, so, so can you open a soda bottle? That's a, that's a whole different discussion. The, the, the cap to be screwed out on and off, it has to be detached from the ring. Right. So by breaking that cap from right. detaching it, you've created a cap, not the soda bottle. The cap is the... The cap is the clay, uh -huh. not the bottle, to be continued. Okay.